Hey guys, I'm back. It's Leslie from Clinique in the London, Ontario region. And today I am so excited to walk you through clinical reality. Whoops, I almost forgot. That's better. Clinical reality is our newest tool that allows you to diagnose your skin right from your phone or even your iPad. So you can do this from home, or if you'd like, you can go to Hudson's Bay, you can visit your clinic counter, and one of the consultants can walk you through it there. So all you need to do, it's super easy, you just scan the QR code with your phone, or you can just click on the link, which I'll include in the comments of the video so you can access it there. That will then take you to the clinical reality page where you start your skin analysis. So it's going to do a full scan of your face and based on the scan, based on your texture preferences, it's going to recommend the best Clinique products for your specific skin concerns. What I also love about it is that it doesn't throw a bunch of products at you. It actually asks you what you use in your routine or what you're willing to add into your routine. And it gives product recommend recommendations based on that as well. So to do the scan, it's definitely best to do it with a fresh face. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my makeup off um, so I can walk you through and we can get started. So to take my makeup off, I am going to use Clinique Take The Day Off Balm. If you haven't tried this, you're missing out. It's a solid balm, you don't need much about a piece, well, that's more than a piece size. You don't really need that much, but I've got it, so we're going with it. So all you do is massage the balm into your face, and when you massage it, it starts to transform into a really hydrating oil. And you'll notice, so I'm not actually going to take um, my eyebrows off or my eye makeup because um, that's not really going to be taken into account in the scan, so it's safe to leave your eye makeup on um, if you've got it. So you'll see it's definitely breaking down all of the makeup on my face. We call this the makeup artist best friend because it literally melts it right off. Super easy, super gentle, and it also doesn't leave an oily slip afterwards. It just feels nice and hydrated. So once you've massaged it in, if you're at home, you can just go ahead and rinse it off um, in your sink. I conveniently have a warm, damp towel here that I will use to take my makeup off. So you can see once you start to rinse off the balm, it takes all of your makeup with it. Okay. I lied, this towel is not warm. It's actually pretty cold, but that's okay. Okay, so away it goes. And this will take off even the most tenacious makeup. So if you do wear any long lasting makeup or if you layer on like I do, uh, it will take off every last drop of your makeup, which is great. Okay, that's pretty good enough. So now that I've got um, my makeup off, I'm gonna actually go ahead um, and walk you through step-by-step step how to use clinical reality. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and open the camera on my phone. I'm just gonna hover over the QR code. It's like magic and it pulls up the link right at the top there. And so it pulls up clinical reality and you can select your language. So I'm going to click on English. In bold, you're going to see start analysis um, right in the middle of the page there. So I'm gonna click on that. And it wants to access my camera, which I'm going to allow because it needs that in order to take the photo. So for best results, you wanna keep a neutral expression, no smiling, cause then it's gonna add lines um, where you don't have them naturally or normally. Eyes open, you wanna make sure that we have good light, your hair's back, and if you have glasses, take them off, please. Okay, so got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my selfie here. Neutral expression. Got it. So now, oh yeah, look at that, woo. So you're gonna click on next, 
and it's going to do a scan. Holy, I got freckles galore there. So right now it's reading my scan, doing the analysis. All right, so uneven skin tone and dark spots make sense because I have tons and tons of freckles and redness. So I can either stick with that or I can actually click on other concerns and you can see it will list them. So uneven skin tone and dark spots um, is at the top of the list and then it's pores and uneven texture, lines and wrinkles, fatigue, blemishes. So for me personally, um, my main skin concern is pores and uneven texture. So I'm actually going to go ahead and select that there and then I'm going to click next so this is very cool this is where it asks some questions about your skin type your preferences so I would describe my skin as oily combination besides moisturizer what other products would I consider definitely makeup remover cleanser toner serum eye cream SPF and we'll stop there Actually, no, booster. I mean, I like, I like to use it all, so we're just going to go for it. Hit continue. And which texture preference do you prefer? Personally, I like a lightweight water jelly texture, something really um, light. So I'm going to hit continue. And very cool. So that's actually the Clinique ID that I use. How did it know? So my Clinique ID there is the hydrating jelly it feels like water on my skin i'm absolutely obsessed with it and the active cartridge concentrate for pores and uneven texture okay so that would be your clinique id recommendation if i scroll down i can actually see what other products this recommends for me based on my skin scan so for my makeup remover to take off my eye makeup it's got take the day off the liquid facial soap for oily skin, which is great. I use that and I love it. It's recommending my clarifying lotion number three, which I refuse to go a day without. And the pore refining solutions correcting serum. This I actually haven't tried before, so I'm going to put that on my list of things to try because that sounds very enticing to me. And all about eyes for my tired eyes puffy dark eyes i love it sounds good and for my daily spf we have city block um spf 25 and the vitamin c booster for the daytime to give my skin a bright healthy glow and then you pair it with the retinol booster at nighttime for the de-aging duo and there you have it so that is clinical reality with my Clinique ID, as well as the other products that it recommends for me. So I would love for you guys to go give it a try. Comment below and let me know what you think, what your Clinique ID is. I'm very excited to hear. I'll talk to you soon.